Hi everyone, Ali Assassin here, and today I want to talk to you guys about reviewing the rank and where it's going to be going. Now, of course, you'll notice Season 3 did not get posted this month. I had it recorded originally, but I had a little bit of a change of heart as to where I think the series might go this season, so I decided not to post it. I decided to take a month and just kind of look over where I want the series to go and a change I want to make to it. Now, I also want you guys' input because, you know, if you guys enjoyed the replay review aspect of it, I would definitely bring that back, but for right now, I'm going to be taking it out of the series. And what I'm going to be doing instead is focusing on a placement review, like I've been doing, and then an overall uh, season review at the end of the month, or by the beginning of the next month. And the reason for doing this is because Season 3 seemed to place you at a lower rank than you had been before. Now, I've been keeping track of my stats for my placement matches, and... Season 3 was very, very close to the other seasons in terms of kills, deaths, wins, loss, and all that. But I was placed in a much lower bracket this time. Where I've been placing Platinum 5 the past two seasons, I did basically the same with better accuracy, which I was trying to focus on, but was placed in the Platinum 1. So it got me thinking, if they're going to be placing you a little bit lower, which in my opinion is a good thing because it gives you a little more of a hill to climb, Instead of just reviewing the placement, I want to, you know, do the placement review like I had been doing, and then do an overall season review to see where I'm at at the end of the season. And this works for a number of reasons. Because A, before, I was just playing my 10 placement matches, and then I wasn't really playing much Halo afterwards. You know, I was playing 10 matches, I'd rank in Arena, and if no one else was on, I would just kind of log off. So... This will actually kind of motivate me to play Halo a little bit more, which I'm, I'm all for. You know, I still really enjoy the game. And it's going to kind of make me see where I can stack up to. Can I get back up to Platinum 5? Can I get higher than that? And I think it'll just be a little more interesting of a review at the end of the month than just talking about placement matches. Plus, it'll give me a chance to see how individual growth in this ranking system works when you're just kind of an average Joe like me. <laughs> trying to rank up in Team Arena, so I think it should be interesting. But like I said, the the unfortunate removal from the series then will be the replay reviews, which, I'll be honest, I don't feel I'm that great at, so I do feel it's a weak part of my channel, and I don't like putting out content that I don't feel is the top quality, and I really don't feel like my reviews are that good of quality. So this, I think, will be a much better way for the series to go, but if you guys, you know, liked those reviews and thought they were somewhat helpful, let me know and I will try to throw one or two in there a season if you guys really enjoyed them. So that's where reviewing the ranks will be going in the future. It'll be back with season four, probably the first or beginning of the second week of April, and then I'll have the complete season overview at the beginning of May. Also, this coming month is pretty much like beta heaven. <laughs> If you guys didn't know, if you go to GameStop on, I believe it is April 1st, which I'm hoping this is an April Fool's joke. I would assume they wouldn't do that to people. They would give me out Doom beta codes for the Doom multiplayer beta, which is the 2nd and the 3rd of April. There are also going to be a Battleborn open demo in April. The Gears 4 multiplayer beta is also in April, which runs to the beginning of May. And then there's going to be the Overwatch beta in the beginning of May. So it's going to be a crazy time for betas. And I'm definitely going to be putting out my impressions of at least two of those. I'd want to cover all four of them, but we'll see what my time allows and what I'm actually able to get into and play a lot of. So, you know, there are more videos on the way. Sorry that the channel's been a little quiet. I've just been trying to... You know, focus on work since I've been having a lot of overtime recently. But again, thank you guys so much as always for watching. Also, I want to shout out to Mike at Gaming for helping me out. At the end of Season 3, I had a third episode that I was very, very tired while making. I was getting ready for a 5.30 a.m. shift, which is a lot earlier uh, than I'm used to working. And man, I had to get up at 3.30 in the morning, so that was a big shift. And I made put the video out, and there was... An error in it and I don't like having videos with you know big standout errors in them so I took it down 
I apologize for only having two episodes last season, but I didn't want that one out there just because I don't want bad quality content on my channel. But guys, again, like I said, thank you so much for the support, and I'll talk to you guys later.